Hello everyone and welcome to my kitchen. It's Alexis, your Pampered Chef Consultant and I need to flip my camera over. So let's say mirror image. Ah, oh, now you see me on the right way. All right, so I live here in Southeast Coastal Georgia and I'm a Pampered Chef Consultant. I teach you how to use your Pampered Chef tools along with recipes so you can make what I'm making at my house at your house. Today I'm doing two, two recipes in one. I'm gonna be doing a chicken salsa and a chicken Tuscan chicken. Both of them are great. So I can have one now and one tomorrow. And I'm gonna be doing it in the same container. Yeah, I'm gonna be using the Deluxe Multi Cooker, which is this cooker right here by Pampered Chef. We're gonna turn it on, on in a minute and get it ready to go. All we're gonna do is put chicken in there, some so sauce in there, and let it cook. How easy is that? But before we do that, we're gonna be doing some jasmine rice. I got a little package of jasmine rice here. I'm gonna cut this open. I'm gonna get a pair of scissors here. And uh, we're gonna put this in a container and just wash wash your rice all right it's jasmine jasmine rice and this is three quarters of a cup of jasmine rice and I'm gonna put it in this little container here and I'm just gonna rinse it all right just get it off there we go let's get that that put it under some water cold water cold water all right so make sure you do a couple different things if you're watching do a thumbs up give a heart share out follow all right those are three things that you can do to help the broadcaster right hey Eddie how are you doing so uh, let me put that in some water. I'm gonna rinse, just gonna rinse that uh, rice off. It helps activate the rice a little bit easier, all right? Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna cook my rice in this eight and a half inch stainless steel skillet. Yeah, you don't need a pot. You can actually do it in a pan. I did this recipe um, about a month ago when I was down at my friend's house and I actually used double the recipe and I did it in this pan. I was like, man, I can cook rice in this pan? Yeah, you can cook rice in it. So let's put that down. We're gonna put a little bit of oil on here. I'm gonna try and use avocado oil. More likes can attract viewers, keep it up. There you go, yeah. So tap parts, you just have to tap that screen, go tap, 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 tap. And a few people of your friends can come in too, all right? So this one has avocado, I have a little A written on the bottom of it. And it's the uh, Pampered Chef Kitchen Spritzer. There's two different ones out here. This one's in the outlet for like 16 bucks or so. And we're just gonna spray a little bit of oil in here. There we go, just put a little bit of oil. Uh, I'm gonna be uh, turn that on. Let's get it nice and hot. Oh, wrong, wrong burner. We're gonna put it on the burner back there. And once the oil, once you spray this out, release it so you hear you burp the baby. There you go. It's just getting the air out of your oil so it doesn't go rancid because oil uh, air makes oil go rancid. Hello, Bonnie. Hello, how are you doing? All right, so we're rinsing our rice. We're using jasmine rice. I just have it in a cup right here, just like this. And you're trying to get some of the starch off. All right, so just, you know, play around with your rice for a little bit. And you're just gonna try and get some of that. See how that water turned a little bit starchy? You're trying to get rid of that, all right? This is just, and it's for jasmine rice. I'm not sure about any other ones, but this is the way we do jasmine rice here, all right? So I'm gonna uh, rinse, I'm gonna pour this out. There you go, just get the water out of it. All right, I poured a little bit of that too much out. All right, so we got that out and I have some oil in my pan. And we're just gonna, this is where, if you wanna flavor your rice and you wanna put a little bit of lemon in there, you can add some lemon zest or some lemon into your pan and flavor your rice. All right, you can actually add ginger or if you wanna saute up some onions. I'm gonna do plain, plain rice because I'm gonna be using the, I'm gonna be using the Tuscan chicken uh, on top of this rice for dinner tonight. Hello, Diane from New York, how are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? All right, so we got our rice here and uh, it's ready to go in the pan. It's getting nice and hot. It will sizzle on you and again, make sure that if you wanna put a garlic in here, onions in here, flavor your rice right now. I just put a little bit oil of olive oil in or avocado oil in there. Hey, all right, so we're gonna add our rice right to the pan. Let me see, it's gonna sizzle on me, all right? There we go. And just let it sizzle, it's okay. Get it nice and hot. You're gonna saute up your rice just a little bit, just a little bit. I know it sounds, it sounds weird to saute up rice. I'm not really, uh, I'm gonna get a nice little spoon and we're gonna saute up our rice, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna keep it over my, uh, give it a little shimmy, all right? And we're gonna keep it over there, just saute it up. It's gonna get, evaporate some of that water that we washed our rice with. And uh, that's pretty much it. We're gonna add in one and a quarter cup of water into our three quarters a cup of rice. Now you got, the, you got those down, all right? You got all that down. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna let that sit for a few seconds. 
Uh, in the meantime, we're going to start with our entree, which is chicken. And I'm going to be doing chicken salsa, and we're going to be doing a chicken, um, uh, Tuscan style chicken herb. Now, I already used part of this packet a while back, a half of it. <laughs> I only really need half of this. So I have a cup of water right here. Here's my cup of water, and we're still sauteing up our, our, our rice because our rice takes the longest time to cook. Uh, and we're going to put in my package. I didn't even open it up, y'all. All right. The Tuscan. The, and this is a Pamper Chef meal starter. Uh, it helps you make meals quicker because you don't have to, like, pull out all your ingredients. You just have this little, little packet. And so I'm going to put this Tuscan-style herb chicken mix, and it's only half of it. In, in my bowl, all right? Now, normally I just throw it right into the into the container, but I wanna show you how I'm mixing it together. And I'm gonna put in one cup of water because when we use our quick cooker, we need at least one cup of water in it in order for it to, um, to work, all right? So I'm gonna get a little tasting spoon right here. And in the meantime, I'm gonna stir up my, my rice over here. Yep, there we go, we're stirring up our rice. All right, it's almost there. It's a little sticky rice at the bottom, but that's all right. We're just trying to saute up our rice first. There we go. And that's it. So we have our meal starter right here, and it is one cup of water to a half of a, or one cup of water to a half a packet of the Tuscan style chicken. So we got that mixture ready to go, and I have one cup of salsa ready to go any salsa will do whether you want hot salsa mild salsa bean salsa any type of salsa will work on the chicken salsa so we're doing two different recipes right here hello bobby how are you doing all right so th thanks for coming in my name is alexis i'm an independent consultant for pamper chef and i'm making dinner tonight i need to make some ch chicken because chicken is on everyone's diet all right so my rice is nice and dry right now um i'm going to put in my water which is one and a quarter cup of water into my rice I need some salt because that's way we're gonna add in um, to flavor our rice with salt, okay? If you don't salt it, it's gonna be really, really bland, all right? And again, if you wanna put a piece of ginger in there and flavor with ginger for, uh, say, a more of an Asian spot uh, uh, taste, you can do that. If you wanna put in saute onions or gar garlic into your rice to flavor it, do it before you add the water, all right? Just saute it up, add your water tap it down and now I need my my nice little uh, lid lid that I'm gonna put over my my pot now I'm cooking my pot in the saute in the stainless steel uh, eight and a half inch saute pan okay hey Aiden how are you doing so we got that going got our rice going I'm gonna bring it to a boil and then turn it off and just let it sit and let it cook for 30 minutes Ted rice takes about 25 to 30 minutes all right so we got all that we got our chicken here now I'm gonna be putting in the chicken and the salsa on the bottom of my quick cooker and here's my quick cooker right there let me see if I can get your hands free without it falling over on me all right so this is a multi cooker it's a quick cooker that is expanded it also is a sous vide cooker so we're gonna turn this baby on right there on you're gonna take it off you're gonna open it up and on the inside comes with this little trivet all right we're gonna use this trivet because we're gonna be putting in all my other stuff here too. Uh, we're gonna be putting one chicken on the bottom and we're gonna put this one on top and close it off. And we're gonna do the second chicken on the top, all right? So if you don't have the ceramic bowl that came with the original quick cooker, then you can probably use the uh, spring form pan for this, all right? So either one, you're gonna use one chicken on the bottom, one chicken on top. I've never done this before, so this is definitely an experiment, all right? So we're gonna get our chicken, and my chicken's been sitting out, it is at room temperature, so it's not really frozen uh, chicken. All right, I'm gonna put this chicken over the sink here, so I get the juices into the sink. There we go, oop, there we go, one. All right, and I'm just gonna put my chicken, the whole chicken breast, right into the pot. There we go, just like that, all right? And you can see it right here. I have two. Now you can do more chicken slices in here. This is 10 ounces of chicken. I'm not doing, I don't, I don't, want, I don't want to eat chicken for days. Although I could probably put five pounds of chicken in here and you know, probably four cups of salsa and go for it, all right? But I'm just gonna do two of them here and I'm gonna add my salsa, one cup of salsa at the bottom of this. There we go. If you want, we can use some Southwest uh, spices in there, but the salsa has a lot of seasonings on it. I will put the, some of the salt, salt, uh, salt, salt Western chicken 
right in there. Just put it right on top. If you want to use taco seasoning in there, use taco seasoning. All right, just flavor your chicken just a little bit. All right, so that one's done. You see right there, it's all done. Just put it right in, let it smush around. There, we're gonna put this on top right there. And then we're gonna get, I'm not gonna put it on, there we go. Now we're gonna get the other one right here and we're gonna put the second one, chicken, second chicken in, the, in here. Oh, what brand? This is Pampered Chef. And this uh, meat is by um, uh, Every Plate, Every Plate. And you can buy these little, little Every Plate things. Let's see, uh. Let me get it out, hold on. It has a little water in here. So I'm gonna put my chicken right in there. Let's put this, get that over there. I'm gonna wash my hands because I got some chicken juice all over it. I had to use a little soap on my hands there too. Uh, so I'm using uh, 10 ounces of chicken breast and one cup of liquid. Now you can use a whole lot more because I'm only cooking for myself and my mom. This is two meals. We're doing chicken salsa and Tuscan style chicken. All right. Hey, Melanie, how are you doing? How are you doing? Hello, Ella. All right. So we have our chicken breast right here. All right. And again, this, this has enough seasoning in it that I really don't need to salt and pepper it. Uh, we're going to just put this right on top. It's one cup of, of uh, water with a half a packet of this Tuscan style herb chicken. And this is Pampered Chef Meal Starter. I'm going to talk about those in a second. So we're just going to put that right on top. There, let me get my little spoon. There, get that all out because it's good to the last drop, just like Maxwell House. Okay. And that's pretty much it. So now I have my chicken in the Tuscan mi mixture. I'm gonna get this nice little thing that came with it. If you don't have one of these things, you can always use um, aluminum foil, all right? That will work too. Uh, try to get it out of here first and then put it in. And then getting the liquid all over the place now. All right, put that in, just like that. Put it in here, oops, on the little thing, come on down. There we go. And. We have our second dinner right here. We're gonna put it right on top. That's it. We're gonna cancel this off. Cancel, cancel. Whatever I dare. I put I was pushing buttons over here. We're gonna put our lid on here and I'm gonna go down to poultry. And it's 15 minutes. You're just gonna press the button. And it says 15 minutes. Yeah, that's as long as I want it. And uh, keep it delay. I'm not, I don't, this one has a delay. So if you want to start it two hours from now, you can start it from two hours from now. If your the chicken's frozen or at, um, uh, say, refrigerator thing, you, you can delay it. And then you can also keep it warm. I don't want that one on. You can also keep it warm for up to two hours, but we're, we don't need to keep it warm today. There we go. And that's saying two hours warm. That's fine. We'll keep it there. And keep warm. I'm done. And I get it to go run. There you go. It's running. It's going to come up to pressure. It's going to take about 10 minutes to come to pressure and 15 minutes to cook that chicken. And it'll be all done for us. Now, once it gets done, I'm thinking either one, I can take that chicken out and sear it to make it look nice and charcoal brown. You know, like, you know, we like our chicken a little brown. We can do that on a cast iron pan. Um, and my, my rice is nice, nicely boiling, boiling right now. I'm going to turn that down to even low, low, low. Can I get, how low can I go? And uh, we'll go from there. Where did you get it? Uh, from Pampered Chef. Pampered Chef. I'm a Pampered Chef consultant. The link is in my profile if you want any of these um, meal starters or the deluxe um, uh, multi cooker. And this is a combination of a pressure cooker, a slow cooker, and a sous vide cooker. A sous vide cooker. Now I got to do the sous vide yet. I've done sous vide eggs just like you get at a Starbucks, and they're wonderful. However, I think I did about the same thing when I used a pressure cooker, but this is more an advanced uh, pressure cooker. Uh, then the quick cooker that we had available earlier this year, they stopped selling that one and they made a new improved one because one, it has a delayed start time because we all know that when we do a slow cooker or even pressure cooker, we want it done within a certain amount of time. So it has a delay start and also has a uh, keep it warm at the end um, uh, function on there. Nice, yeah, three and one. It's actually more than three and one. You also have a yogurt setting. You also have a sterilization setting on here. There's 16 different settings on here plus a custom setting that you can do whatever you want with it, okay? So there are three. This is the new tool by Pampered Chef. It is the hottest thing since sliced bread, all right? It just came out March 1st, all right? So anyway, this one here is the uh, springform pan that actually fits in here and you can make cheesecakes 
cheesecakes in here and I love making cheesecakes in this tiny little pan. It's about, I think it's seven inches wide. Let me see, seven, uh, where's my little thing? Yeah, it's about, it's just about seven inches in diameter. Uh, when I use the cheesecake recipe with Pampered Chef, I add in one cup of sour cream to make the cheesecake because I like it thicker and a lot of fluffier than a dense cheesecake, all right? So this one's available for sale also that can go in that, that um, um, slow cooker. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna be doing, we got our dinner done, or going on. We got rice going on. I'm just gonna make up some broccoli and call it a day. And then with that, um, with the salsa one, I'll have lunch ready for myself tomorrow. And my mom can do whatever she wants to eat tomorrow. She's not a fan of salsa. Order, yeah, there's my order, uh, Lexus C underscore can do on my link tree. You can go in my profile and you'll see it right there. And you can message me saying, hey, I want that, but I, I, I can't afford it. Can I have a party with you? We can get it to your house for uh, at least 50% off. All right, so let's put that over there. All right, so the next thing we're doing and I just have water in these. I don't wash stuff that I just put water in them. So I'm gonna put them back in my cabinet. I always put my stuff back to the same spot so I can find, I know exactly where it is in my kitchen. If you ever came to my house, I had a couple people come to my house and cook in my house and they knew exactly where everything was because everything's right here. Uh, so we got that. Let's drink up some water because hydration nation is the key to success on weight loss and keeping your skin really good. All right, hey Sam Lynn. Susan in the house, Dance Mom is in the house. Thanks for joining us. Tap those hearts right there. Follow me for food tips and cooking in your kitchen. I like to, um, I'm trying to uh, lose a little bit of weight. I gained a little bit, but I am I'm making cake today, y'all. All right, so uh, I used chicken today that I got from Every Plate. Every Plate is a subscription service where you can get meals made and they give you everything that you want on it. Now at the end of this little, of this Every Plate, you can order like individual packets of chicken like I did so I can make my own chicken, all right? So the link for $20 off is also in my profile for the Every Plate subscription. You get one, uh, one $20 off per, per household. And so it's $38 for three meals for two people. And uh, when I had my son here, we had to do four meals because he ate a little bit more or I would take leftovers for lunch. Uh, so you can get that, the Every Plate subscription, but I'm with Pampered Chef and I, I love the new meal starters. How is Florida? Florida was great. Florida was so good. We did, I didn't have very good weather. Um, uh, it was just overcast the entire time. It did rain on us too, also. So the one, the chicken that we're doing right now is Tuscan style herb chicken. All right, and this can make up to, I think six servings on here. Uh, and with this one here, instead of doing, it calls for one cup of water, I would do it a cup and a half to two cups on this one because you really want the broth. If you don't like broth, then use less water. If you like a lot of, of, uh, of liquid in your stews, then I would definitely do one and a half to two cups of water on this one here. So this is a meal starter. You don't have to like dig out all your um, stuff. It's all right in one packet. There you go. The next one that, that was out is the chili. You can make chili. Whether you want white chicken chili, um, turkey chili, um, beef chili, bean chili, you can use this as a meal starter. Because you all know you go to the store and buy the chili mix rather than getting all your mixes out. So that's another one that really helps you in the kitchen. Uh, one one packet, open it up, it's all in there. Give you simple directions on the back how to use it. I think it is in the back. Where is the instructions on here? I don't know. All right, and then the next one that just came out. Oh, wow. The next one that came out was this uh, chicken uh, scampi or scampi mix. Okay, you can make this with shrimp, you can make it with chicken, you can make it with tofu, you can just do scampi vegetables, all right? So it's a scampi mix. So if you're like afraid of doing oil and, and uh, butter and garlic and all that stuff, it's all in one packet here. Uh, these meals are all gluten-free, all right? So you don't have to worry about that. And then the, this one here, I loved this one. I was almost ready to make this, but I had that little packet of the Tuscan leftover. And my mom likes Italian more than she does um, uh, Thai food. So this one here, I absolutely recommend is the Pad Thai. Pad Thai is so good. So if you get the right noodles, I just do regular noodles with this. And uh, my friend Brian loved the Pad Thai on this one. He says, yeah, I would make this again. And I added mushrooms. This one here, it says to mix in the water to the meal mix, add soy sauce. Um, and then, uh, let's see, chicken tenders. I think I put in, oh, it says, oh, it says bell peppers, lime wedges, cilantro, peanuts, but you can add all that on top of it. I think I did it with, um, 
Okay, I did bell peppers, onions, and mushrooms on this one here with the pad thai. It was so good. It was the best. It's so simple and easy to make that I don't have to, I like, we only have like one, I think, we, I don't even know if we have a Thai restaurant where I live anymore because everything's closed and they're moved or something like that. I haven't figured it out. Yeah, so the, these all packages are gluten-free. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is breads and mixtures. All right, so Pantry Chef has a couple different um, uh, mixes out, okay, that are like for, for fun, like, like yummy in my tongue. All right, so anyway, we have a couple of them and I'm going to show you them here. Let me see. All right, so one of them, and this these two here are phenomenal. There's three mixes that when you buy $80 in the month of April, you get one of these packets for free when you order that amount. So you can get a brownie mix and this brownie mix, I'm going to read this. It is um, vegan. It's vegan. All right. The brownie mix is vegan, uh, non-GMO, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, and it's made without nuts. All this is right down here. All right. So if you don't like brownies, you're saying, well, I don't really like chocolate. Well, then we have chocolate chip cookies for you. These are great. Now, I know my, my son's girlfriend, Natalie, she's allergic to soy and also to sesame. And so she, I made these. She absolutely loved them. She, I said, here you go, Natalie. You can eat these without I'm being guilt-free. We had to use a, um, I think, balanced butter for her. That was fine. I got, I got different butter for her. Um, cause she's also dairy-free, too. All right, so the next two is the caramel latte bread very good so when you purchase eighty dollars you get one of these choices the caramel latte the brownie or the cookie mix um for free when you purchase eighty dollars or more with pamper chair for the month of april now the one that we're going to be making today is this one the dolce leche cake this is brand new by Mar uh, has a march first and i'm going to make this right now today all right yeah alexis hey junk food junkie i just leave it haps because it won't let me in i know it's being wonky i heard that some other people are having troubles especially if they have an android going on haps so anyway wow is my thing okay all right so it, the steam's coming out of here and my little red button's coming up and it's coming to pressure it's almost there it's almost there we have one more little line right here coming to pressure i do have my oven set to 350 degrees oh my button's up there's a button right back here. It's a little red button. When that comes up, it's coming to pressure and it'll say it's counting down 15 minutes. All right. So we're going to make this one. I have an iPhone 3, 13. Oh, I have no idea. It's wonky. I haven't been on, I haven't been on HAPS in I think like two weeks, two weeks. I haven't been on there. And I did my last TikTok like last week, a week ago, yesterday. I did, I did it a week ago yesterday. So we're going to be using this. And I got most of my stuff over here. I got a bowl. I got my oven uh, heated up. All right. And we're going to be doing the Dolce Leche cake. Now, instead of doing one big cake, because <laughs> you know I like to eat it all, right? I'm going to make some small little bunt cakes. Yeah. Pamper Chef has a small little bunt pan. And I can freeze these bunts. And then have them later on so I don't have to eat them all right now right or give them all away right so we're gonna be doing let me say I have all this stuff we gotta get the beet mixers out hold on now I got this we're gonna be making bunts mini bunts all right plus it takes less time to cook in this all right because who likes to wait at the 45 minutes for a cake I don't know who likes to do that? all right so we have some ingredients to put in here and I gotta read them and we're gonna put this all in here right all right, so let's see. I need to get the butter first. We need six tablespoons of butter. Everything's better with butter. And I'm not sure if I got this one. I think I might melt it just a little bit. And you see this wrapper? I'm gonna keep this wrapper because I'm gonna grease down my pan. Got my pan over here. I'm gonna put this in the microwave just for a couple seconds couple seconds and you get that grease pan get that little paper and just grease your pan okay all right I'm gonna just do 15 seconds in here uh, 17 16 15 all right oops yep you got it a little melty all right so my butter is slightly melted here just put that right in there scrape it all out but we're gonna get our little greaser here take that down here. Put that over there and I'm going to grease my pans up. Yeah, I don't have a lot of space here. All right, so just going to grease our pans up using that same paper. 
Make sure you get the middle part too, okay? I think I got that. All right. A little more in there. It is greased up well. All right. Got that. Clean my hands off. Is my timer going down? Yeah, we got 15 minutes. We got 15 minutes to get this done, right? All right. I'm going to turn that one off. All right. We got our butter going, and I'm going to be using my, this thing here is another new tool by Pamper Chuck. It's the Flex Plus, and this is a battery-operated mixer, a manual food processor, or food processor, and also an immersion blender. And you put the, bat, the, the manger guy on here, you're going to get your little beaters, put those in, and it's cordless. So I don't have to, like, worry about plugging up a cord while I'm, while I'm broadcasting, all right? Or getting wrapped around the cord and the last to the party is the battery the battery takes about I don't know an hour to charge and it gives you about 30 minutes of life in here So we're gonna put that in and now we're gonna just turn it on. We're gonna beat up beat up our butter That's already sort of melted. All right, let's see. Um, whoop, haven't used this in a while. Oop, got that Got that got that. Okay there turn that on And just beat up your eggs or your butter All right, so my butter is already like nicely melted up. We're gonna add the rest of our ingredients, which is two eggs. There's one egg. I almost got turkey eggs yesterday from one of my coworkers, but somebody couldn't find them when I, when I was leaving work. So I have to message her and say, bring some more turkey eggs. I'm gonna try those turkey eggs. They were huge turkey eggs. Uh, sorry, got my phone call. Okay, <laughs> no problem. All right, get, get, wash my hands because I got a little egg on there. And we're gonna add the rest of it in. So we have butter in here, six tablespoons of butter, uh, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, but I am using coconut oil because vegetable oil is not good for you. All right, so use, and if you use solidified uh, coconut, it's better. And how many do I need? I need two tablespoons. So let's put that in here. One, two, there we go. Two tablespoons, done. And two thirds of a cup of milk. There we go. All right, mix those ingredients together. Now, one thing that they tell you when you're using the Flex Plus to not to use it in a glass bowl. So Pamper Chef came out with this nice little, um, like, I don't know, silicone type bowl, plastic bowl, and that's where we use it in. So we cannot use it on glass, just FYI on there. So, all right, so hello, Mel. Mel, how you doing? Hey, Nick. All right, so we're gonna be, they'll say leche cake. My friend, my boss, Lisa, mentioned it yesterday. She goes, like, well, I, you, I got three packets of it and I haven't made it. I'm like, oh, I need to make this again. So all we have to do is dump this right back in here. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. And we're going to mix this all up, right? Alexis, do you remember, says JFJ, Leslie Nance, you said you, uh, you to say use coconut oil. It's healthy. Yeah, it is. It is healthier for us. So that is so true. So, and I do. I use coconut oil, avocado oil for cooking, and uh, olive oil for like salads. Avocado oil is not the best for cooking because it has um, a lower uh, smoke point, whereas avocado oil has a higher smoke point. And you don't want to use avocado oil really in baking, but you really like to use coconut oil in baking. All right, who wants the beaters? We don't have much beaters on here, but the first thing you do when you get done with this, all right, is take the battery off so you don't get your fingers mashed up here. And you're gonna push this right here and it's going right in the sink. Okay, let's taste it. Let's put that down there. 
We're gonna get our pan back over here. Let me get my battery out of the way. And I'm gonna get a scoop and we're gonna scoop this in here. Me, says Aiden. Yeah, Aiden, I knew you would save me. Okay. Uh, let me see. I should use the smaller one. I'm gonna use the medium scoop to scoop it out. All right, so we're gonna scoop it out and we're just gonna put it into our batter. All right, so like one scoop. Let's do three scoops each one and try not to get it all over the place, Alexis, because then you have to clean it up. There, that's three scoops. One. All right. One. Two. And I got it in all over the place, but that's all right. We, we have time. We can clean it up. So three scoops it is. Here. Let's do one more. That in there, one. Let me know if you like baking. On a scale of one to ten, do you like baking? She also said use ghee for cooking. Yeah, ghee is just clarified butter. Ghee is butter without the solids in it, all right? So that is what ghee is. And that is what most uh, chefs use is ghee in their, in their um, uh, cooking because it has a higher smoke point, the ghee does, than um, our clarified butter, either one. Is, it's two terms intermingled, all right? Uh, let's see. But it is it has a good shelf life on the ghee because you can buy it in, the, in, the, uh, in a glass container at the grocery store. So if you can't find butter, look for ghee, and it's usually over where the oils are on there. And I think I'm going to have some left over here. I may have to get a small pan out. Let's see, we got one, and I just put more in. Put one more scoop in each one on the Alexis. There we go. Two, and yeah, Alexis is making a mess today. Three. I was just hungry for cake, so that's why I'm making this. Even though I'm on a diet, you know, nothing's off my diet. I don't have to refrain from not eating like cheese or um, refrain from not eating vegetables or whatever. Or, eating only one thing. I can eat pizza. I can eat cake. As long as you're like within reason, you know, uh, there we go. Some, some of it's fallen right through. <laughs> All right. So I have some more left. So we're going to add one more scoop into each one. There one. So it's actually four scoops to each one. There one. Yeah. I think I'll have enough. Two. And three. That one looks shy. Put that right in. The end. And if you don't know, I've been on uh, icing sugar. No, I'm not gonna do no sugar on this one. No sugar. So you like baking? Okay. So Louis, hey Louis Joyce, how are you doing, girl? You like baking? I like. You know, I'm not a baker, but I do like bake goods. Does that make sense? Oh, I gotta put one over here. This is getting a little heavy. I gotta put this down, but y'all, and I need a scraper, and I need a finger looking good. Mm -mm -mm. All right. I'm gonna scrape my bowl down. This is like coffee cake. This is like so good. If if you like cake and you don't wanna have like time to make a whole dulce leche cake, which takes hours, uh, look how nice the scraper scrapes it all, y'all. You really wanna get it good to the last drop. You don't wanna leave it in there, you know, unless your kids like to eat the, the batter or you like to eat the batter. I like to eat the batter. Aiden likes to eat the batter. All right, let's see if I can get some more, one more in. Drop that off, there we go. Go in there. And then we're gonna clean up our edges here. Watch, I'll have them over, over, over filled. Let's see, let's put this one a little more on this one. There. There. Ooh, there. That one. And I have a little bit more left, because we all know Alexis likes it good to the last drop. That in. Oh wow. Let's see one. Two. Oh, that one needs more. There. You can see it after it settles down that they all need to be about the same, same height. Uh, I do have my oven already heated to 350 degrees. There's no such thing as preheating. You heat the oven to 350 degrees. I had a chef that would tell me that all the time. All right, I'm eating Aiden, this one's for you. Mmm, near London. Mmm. Talk to Aiden. Aiden has a few. Um, he's over in the UK. 
and he has a few pampered chef stuff. Mm. Ate them. This one. All right. I'm telling you, this is good. If I lift the bowl, you know it's really good. Now, don't tell me none of you lick the bowl. Who licks the bowl? Be honest. Be honest. We got 74 people in the room. Who's licking the bowl? Aiden in Leeds. There you go. Aiden in Leeds. Aiden, that was a pretty good name that you came up with. You do your name and then where you're from. Aiden in Leeds. I saw this TikTok today that... Um, the girl asked, how did you come up with your name? And mine's Alexis C. Can Do, because my last name actually begins with a C, uh, but I chose Can Do, because if I can do it, you can do it, especially in the kitchen. There you go. Yeah. Anyway, I always come back and I try to clean up my edges so I don't have baked on goods right here. Oops. There you go. All right, let's knock this down just a little bit. Like, give it a shimmy. This is where your exercise come in. Shake it, okay, so it comes nice and flat. And then you can see if there's one has too much or one that doesn't have enough, but that one has a little bit less. But they're all looking pretty darn good. I'm putting this in the oven at 350 degrees for about, I don't know, 18 minutes, let's say. Alexa, turn on the timer for 18 minutes. 18 minutes. Starting now. I actually don't know how much One time it's going to take. Would you like to play the music guessing game song quiz? No. <laughs> you know why I'm not playing that game? Because I'm going to upload this to YouTube and I don't want music on my on my uh, broadcast because I'll get flagged. So anyway, we're, we're making dolce leche cake. That's all it is. Just mix those couple ingredients together and you can put it in one big bun pan. You can put in a pound cake pan. You can put in cupcakes. You can put in an eight by or a nine by thirteen inch pan. But I put it in the mini uh, fluted cake pan by Pampered Chef because now when those six come out, I can eat one today. I can eat one tomorrow, and I can freeze all the rest of them, put them later for another day. Bam! Right. <laughs> nice to meet you, Aiden says Louise. There you go. Hey Sue, how are you doing? Follow the host. Thank you for following. Hello, Nicole. All right, so let me know what, what, how you got your name. I know Aiden got his. It's his first name and the place where he, he's um, from. Uh, and I got my name because if I can do it in the kitchen, you can do it in the kitchen, right? Uh, and that's that. Let me wash my hands because they are a mess. All right, I got to get rid of some of this junk in my sink. Okay. All right, so let's see. Uh, we have two minutes left before our dinner is done. But let's come over here. I'm going to move you just a little bit so I can fix up my sink because my sink's a mess y'all and you're on the tie pad meal mix there you go there we go okay dishes yeah i got so i took all my stuff to brian's house in this nice little cooler but i don't need this anymore so i'm gonna put this in here my dog is in the kitchen because it's been we've been having really bad thunderstorms like we had a one last night woke me up at three o'clock in the morning and i was up for an hour and a half big thunderstorms there's um uh also a tornado warning in our area last night so let's say i slept pretty late this morning right, let's put that up there and i'm gonna consolidate all my dishes because i just kept on dumping them in here when i was broadcasting and now i want to sort of clean them up just a little bit so just rinse them off first there we go put that back in this is a little bit more, and we use this bowl as our cleaning bowl. There we go. And now we're going to put our semi clean stuff right in here. Take that off. Clean as we go so we don't have a big old mess at the end of the broadcast. Put the scissors in there. This needs to be cleaned up a little bit. So let me know. We have, we're doing baking and we're also doing two dinners. My dinners are in the deluxe um, um, multi-cooker. And there's our, you hear that beep? That's dinner done. All right, let's put that over there. Rinse off the milk one. That one had the butter in it. 
This one has a chicken, Tuscan chicken in it. There we go. Put that in there. A couple other little things. That can go there. I don't like the one with the butter. The butter has grease in it. I don't want the grease all over my other one. So let's put that there. And we are all done. I got my coffee mug from earlier. Put that down, and we are ready to do dishes when I get done. We got our dishes already stacked up, ready to go. Hey, Keen, how are, King Crew? Is that King Crew from Periscope? That's the only that's the only place I know that name from. Was from Periscope. Say hello, King Crew. All right, so send some likes, tap hearts, share out, and follow. My hair is a mess today. Yeah, it's up in the ponytail. It's like a abbreviated, I don't know, mess up here. And we're making dinner. I already made jasmine rice. It's on the stove. Let's see if we can get a thing here. Ooh, jasmine rice. You'll have to watch the replay over on YouTube to see how I made this fluffy jasmine rice. You can see it. Oh, look at that rice. The rice is nice. Nice rice. Perfect rice. So use three quarters of a cup of jasmine rice to one uh, or one and a quarter cups of water. That is beautiful. Perfect. Perfect rice. All right. Because we're going to put the Tuscan chicken over it. Now... I think I need to get the um, a stainless steel, and not stain. Well, let's let's use. Do you want, all right? Give me all right. Y'all have a choice. We have fifty some people in the house right here. Do you want me to use cast iron or stainless steel? Cast iron or stainless steel? Put your answer in the in the in the chat. Cast iron or stainless steel? But in the while while you're typing that up, our um, quick cooker is all done. Our multi multi quicker. I forgot what the pamper chef in the tool. So we're gonna turn this on the side because you know what, there's steam gonna come out of here. And the steam's gonna come out to my left over this way. Let me put it over there. And it's counting up right now. It's been two minutes since we buzzed it. This is gonna count up for like two hours. It's gonna keep everything in, in here nice and warm and not continue to cook. It's just gonna keep it at one, one, one um, temperature. Now, the thing is, for the first 10 minutes, there's a lot of pressure up here. You cannot open this for anything. You have to release the pressure. Down here, there's a pressure release. Not up here, where you're going to be like, like that. No, you press it down here, and it's going to release it up there. Okay, you got that one? All right, so let me say, I love my Pamper Chef stainless steel, but I wouldn't use it for chicken to, um, uh, at cast iron. Okay, because what we're going to do is we're going to get that Tuscan chicken, take it out of there, and I'm actually going to saute it in a pan to get it nice and brown. Uh, and then the the I have the chicken salsa in there that we're going to chop up. All right. So let me see what we have on here. Everybody looks like cast iron. Hello, L. Knowledge, L. How are you doing? Um, let's see. So one cast iron, two cast iron, three cast iron, four cast iron, one has a steel, five cast iron, six cast iron. It looks like I'm doing cast iron. All right. Let's get the cast iron out. And we're going to leave this go just for a little, for, for a few more seconds. And it's just releasing pressure naturally. Okay. Uh, that means it's just coming to pressure just by its own. There's a little bit of pressure leaking out. You can't see it, feel it, or anything. It just naturally releases it by itself. Or you can manually release, which we're going to do that. But i got to get some camera. Okay. Let's so, Pampered Chef has a whole line of cast iron. They have two 5-inch cast irons. This one here is a 10-inch cast iron, and they also have a 12-inch cast iron. It is made by Lodge, which is a United States company, but it has a Pampered Chef label on it, and also has a Pampered Chef uh, guarantee on it if anything should happen to it. It already comes pre-seasoned, so you don't have to season it up, but we are going to add a little bit of olive oil to our pan because we're going to we want that nice little sizz on there, all right? So while this is releasing, we're going to be heating up our pan, and I'm using my kitchen spritzer that has my olive oil in it, and I have another kitchen spritzer, which is brand new. There's two different forms. This one was in the outlet, and then this is a brand new one. Uh, this one sprays wider. This one sprays more of a stream, all right? So get both of them. <laughs> You'll need them. All right, so we're going to just spray some olive oil in here, or avocado oil, because it has a higher burning point on it. You see how nicely it's, it's doing a stream? Now, I'll show you what the other one does, just so that you know what it does. All right, this is the new one. This one has uh, avocado uh, olive oil in it, 
and I gotta pump it a little more to get that pressure in ice in there, but you're gonna see the difference in the spray. You see, it's spraying. It sprays more all over the place. Let me see if I can get it in there. You can see it's not a stream, but a nice spray. All right. And, but with both of them, you do need to burp the babies and get that um, air out of there. One air out. Here's the other one. And that's the second one. This is the older one. So two different ones. They both work the same way, but they spray just a little bit differently. All right. Wow, that's beautiful, says. All right, so we're gonna put this on the stove and heat it up because it does take time for cast iron to heat up. So never start your uh, cookware. Never put your cookware on high heat. It ruins it. It'll warp your pans, whether they're pan chip or not. Never cook with high heat. Uh, cook with like medium high is okay. Medium high is perfect. All right, you love those, yeah. Thank you, um, Bella. Dukes, how are you doing? Hello, neighbor says, Karen, King Crew, hey, that is you. How you doing? All right, so everybody, it looks like the cast iron won out, so we're heating up the cast iron, but we gotta release the pressure in our deluxe multi-cooker, which has several different, I'm trying to get this so I, I my, my stand doesn't wanna work today. It's been on vacation, like me. Ah, there. All right, ah, is it gonna fall over on me? Probably. Can I get one of these? There, all right. Hands free. All right, so this is angled away from me, away from my cabinets and my um, walls. So all we're gonna do is, has been six minutes, it still has four minutes of pressure left to go, and it's keeping warm. We're gonna release the pressure. Woo! There it goes. And you can see it going up. That's a lot of steam. I really don't want it near my cabinets. Actually, it's to the right. Okay. All right. But I'm standing right here. I'm not very far away from it. Like, look, see, I'm like right near it. Don't put your hand on that steam, you will get burnt. Okay, just FYI, steam burns. All right, we're gonna open this baby up. Once once that pressure's then gone down. All right, and then I'm gonna get that, um, the, the top one out. Let's see if I can put you up a little bit higher so you can see what's inside. All right, there you go. Oh, you're perfect now, there you go, you're perfect. There we go. All right, we're gonna see what's inside. And I'm gonna put that one right there. I'm gonna need some gloves. These little oven mitts by Pamper Chef, they're like sharks. All right, so anyway, we got that going. I gotta take this off first. So one thing that's really cool about this um, new multi-cooker, it actually has its own um, rest where you put the lid on it instead of trying to find a place in your kitchen to put this thing on because counter, counter space is at a premium these days. So when you open up, there's gonna be water underneath your top and you're gonna open it up and make sure either, if you're doing like a dessert, you may wanna have a towel to catch that water because there's liquid underneath the, underneath the lid um, or drain it back into the um, container. All right, so you're gonna open it up, lift it up, and there's that water. See, it's draining down into there. Well, Pamper Chef has this nice little edge on here and you can put it right there and it sits there and now you're hands-free. How is How cool is that? Isn't that a different feature that you haven't seen on any other um, uh, quick cookers? pressure cookers. All right, so this one has the, the, the uh, Tuscan chicken on it. And I'll pull this up. And again, there's water on the top of here, so I really want, don't want to get that everywhere. And in the inside, right here, we have our chicken salsa. And I'm going to take that, take the little metal part out, and I'm going to wash this part and put that over there. Now, this has the chicken inside of it, the chicken salsa. We did the chicken salsa at the bottom here. And you can start this chicken with... Um, you can actually do it with frozen chicken also. I forgot to tell you that. So my chicken shrunk up a lot. So I have tiny pieces of chicken in here, but this can be cut up. It'll shred up really, it's probably gonna shred up. I don't even need my chicken cutters in here, but you can see it, it's gonna shred like to pieces. It's, it's breaking apart. It is so tender, it's breaking apart. But I wanna get the Tuscan chicken and I wanna um, actually saute it up just a little bit. Just get it brown because the chicken salsa, you can put this on chicken burritos, chicken tacos, make it with chicken and rice and black beans. That would be a great um, um, dinner. But you see it's already shredding up on here. Let me show you how hot this is. They can take this out and show it to you. Oops. 
there you go so you see that chicken just shredded up like nobody's business and again you can do four pounds of this in here how many how many pounds you want to cook for uh you can actually make a whole lot and then freeze it it does freeze really well and you can put this with anything you can put over a salad and make a taco salad all right so different functions of it that the chicken will absorb some of that uh salsa that we put in here we just did one cup of salsa as long as you have one cup in here it will come to pressure all right so we got that pretty cool right that is cool says melanie yeah enjoy your meal says uh aiden thank you but see you next time okay all right so let me put put us down because we're gonna flip the camera now let me see if i can flip the camera uh flip nope how do i flip the camera all right we gotta figure out how to flip a camera here more and uh support pause live nope i didn't want to pause it we'll figure it out we'll get it here enhancements flip my camera there we go and we went up oh, there's there's bryce's uh, message to me and i think is that off all right so we don't really need it that way all right so we have our tuscan chicken right here let me see if i can get that off i think we're we're good let me know if it's backwards or not i'm gonna try and put this here so i don't fall over there we go all right, so our Tuscan chicken is here, but I have some liquid on this one. I'm going to absorb it up with a, with my towel here. Okay, just get it in. There you go. And we're going to do our, our my, my, um, my pan's getting too hot, so I got to cool it off a little bit. So I turned the stove off. So we're going to take off our lid because we did our Tuscan chicken in here. All right, and the Tuscan chicken smells divine. Oh, my gosh. So we did two different meals in here. We did chicken salsa on the bottom, and we did our chicken... Um, Tuscan chicken on this one and I need my tongs again but I lost my small tongs I don't know where I put my small tongs so I gotta go to those other ones rinse them off all right and this is the chicken that we have in here and I'm just gonna put my chicken my chicken um Tuscan chicken because I want it nice and more of a golden sear on this one it's already cooked I just want to get it brown we're gonna put it in our pan and sizzle that up Ooh. there we go I got the other one Ooh. i think these didn't shrink as much as the other one did okay let's do this one sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. we want to keep this because this is going to go over our rice all right and this is only going to take a couple seconds in order for us to brown this up all right let's see if i can put that down and let's see how we're doing here Ooh, trying to get you in focus there nope there and move you over hopefully uh, there you go now you're seeing the sizzle there you go and i gotta turn it back on because it got really really hot on me there we go. keep it nice and hot and we're just going to do it for like maybe two minutes each side if that because the pan is super hot we're going to we want to get it char grilled all right and then i'm going to have my rice and uh i'm going to uh, microwave some broccoli up all right but I just wanted to show you that we can make rice, two meals in the um, the deluxe multi cooker, and I have cake in the oven too. Oven light. Oh, the, okay. Those cakes are coming out really good. I don't know how much time we have left, but probably a few minutes. Let's see. And it's already. I don't know what time of the day it is. Stop. There you go. Five forty-five. All right. Let's see. Oh yeah. That's what we want, that nice golden brown like that. I'm going to leave that one on a little bit longer. And I'm going to get some broccoli out. All right. So I went to Aldi's and I got some broccoli florets. I like the broccoli florets versus uh, the broccoli stalks. And I'm going to uh, cut this open. And if I can find my scissors, I got a different pair over here. Nope, can't do that one. All right, let's get this. Right. And I need a microwave-safe bowl. And I'm going to put this in the oven or in the microwave and cook up some broccoli. There we go. And I like a lot. There's about three servings, three and a half servings in here, but I usually have two servings of broccoli. All right, there you go. Alexa, turn the timer off. Is 
Okay, we're gonna flip this one. Oh yeah, that's what we want, it nice and brown, just like that. And now we're doing the top side of this. And now we're gonna need to get our, I need to test, test my cakes that are in the oven and I use my cake tester to go in and test my cakes. They don't look quite done yet. Not quite yet. Alexa, set the timer for five minutes. Alexa, uh, she can't hear me. The microwave is on. The girl doesn't listen. All right, two minutes and that'll be it. Hold on. Yeah, so this is what I wanted. I didn't want the whiteness part of it. I really wanted that nice brown sizzle on this one. I'm going to put it right back in the liquid. I just wanted the color on there. All right, we got to let this one go just a little bit longer because we flipped that one second. All right, so let me put you back over on my... Um, the board over there, right there, is where you usually sit. All right, and say hello. Hold on, let's see if I can flip us. Oops, I think it was there. All right, hold on. I'm gonna bring you down and show you show you the cakes in the oven before I flip you. There's the cakes in the oven. All right, beautiful, right? Oh yeah, nice bunts in there. All right, let's do that and. Uh, how come I can never find where to flip my flip my camera? There we go. And mirror image. All right. I did it right. I did it okay. My hair is a mess, y'all. But who cares, right? I'm just at home. I was out walking. Let's see how many how many steps have you done today? Does anybody know how many steps? You could use the chicken salsa in the omelet. Yeah, you could. You can use it on that too. I usually just eat it plain, just like right out of the out of the container. All right, let's turn this off. Put that a little bit more. I need two plates out. And my hair is a total mess, y'all. Oh, that's cool. That's just okay. You're uh, okay. Got that one. Hello, Scotty. How are you doing? So tap hearts. Do this. You just go on the screen. You tap, 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 and that shows the love that you actually like what you're seeing here. Uh, the content that is. That if I can cook this in the kitchen, you can cook it in the kitchen. We used, today, we're using the um, Tuscan style herb chicken mix by Pampered Chef. It's a meal mix. You just put water in here. You can do this on stove top. You can do it in the oven. I've done it in the oven where I just baked it in the oven. I've done it on the stove top. I've, now I've done it in the, um, the multi-cooker, all right? What's for dinner? We're having Tuscan chicken over rice, and we have the juice from that. And also I have chicken salsa in my quick cooker for tomorrow's meal. So I did two meals in one. Uh, I don't know, just 45 minutes. Okay, it's 45 minutes on the treadmill, Tony. It's probably about 4,000 steps. All right, could be more. 45 minutes, an hour and a half. 4,000 4, to 5,000, depending upon how fast you're going. All right. Let's see. Ooh. Yeah, got them. All right, so I got some beautiful broccoli done up. We have our chicken and we have our rice and we just have to put it together. Shows the cast iron with the chicken cooking in it. Uh, I have to angle you down like that because it's already done. And I'm going to take that one piece of chicken because we already put the one in, in the back in the pot. And it has a nice little golden brown on it on both sides. Okay. And I turned my stove off already. All right. So I'm just going to put that back in, the, in there to keep it nice and warm. And I got my rice. We did our rice actually, um, and this is a little warm right now. Ooh, very, very warm. Uh, the other one. We did the rice using the stainless steel pan. And I did three quarters of a cup of rice. I've done a cup and a half in this, in this pan before. It was a little bit to the brim, but it worked out perfectly. I did the double, double amount. I did a cup and a half of jasmine rice to two and a half cups of water on there. So now we, all we have to do is put this all together and make it a meal. All right, let's get two plates. Oops, there. And we're gonna get some rice. Need a platter and a spoon and some omelet. Go. And that is it. All right, so this is nice and hot. If you want, you can get um, some of the juice and make a gravy in here also, but I'm just gonna use the juice right on top of my um, of my rice. All right. And my cakes are almost done. Almost done. We're gonna bring the cakes out. I'm gonna put it on my cooling rack. Get my counter clean. Oh, 
clear it up. There. They are almost done. Let's wait a sec and get those out. All right, because we use our cake tester going in, going in again. Because they're nice and golden brown on the top, that's when I know they're done. So it probably takes about 20 minutes, 22 minutes to cook these babies rather than 45 minutes in a big bunt. All right, and we're gonna cool these down for about five, 10 minutes and they'll pop right out and then they'll have the bunt look on it. All right, so cool those. Got that done. So we did two, th we did a meal and desserts all in one. Other line off and cancel. All right, got that. Let's get a nice little dinner going on here. Ooh. Here, spread your rice out. Here. I'm gonna get a piece of chicken. Actually, let's layer it that way. Let's layer it like that and place the broccoli. You know that um, when, you, when people do food pictures, they're all strategically placed on your plate, right? So that it looks beautiful and perfect. It's not what you do at home, but it's what they do in the, in the, in the thing. So there is our chicken and Tuscan. And I got a little bit of this broth. And the broth you can save and use over other things too. There you go, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna taste this baby. Let's put it down. Get a little knife and I need a tasting fork to cut. And this one will be mine. There we go. There. Let's get that. And then the rice. There we go. And blow on it just a little bit. All right. Mmm. The chicken is so tender. Remember. We did the um, chicken salsa, and let me say this cool down. The chicken salsa just fell apart. Sorry. Chicken salsa just fell apart right in there. I just shredded it with a fork. And so I have chicken salsa that we did at the bottom of this pot, and on the top we did the, ch the um, Tuscan chicken. All right. And this one has a lot of broth in it. You can use it as a soup. All right. Um, you can, <laughs> yeah, we can use this over everything. Definitely over the rice. All right, so, and these are five ounces of chicken breast each, and um, I probably need to add some more rice onto that one. So anyway, that is it. Oh, let me get my cakes out over here. Let me see if I can get them out. Whew. All right, let's see if we can. Let's see if I can flip them. All right, hold on a second. Ooh. Nope, they're not coming out yet. Oh, we're about one or two out. Well, Oh, they came out. They all came out. All right. Except for one. One one sort of died on me. One sort of died, but it sort of died on me. One one fell. Mmm, that is so good. And yeah, Alexa's eating the one cake. All right. I should have weighed it, and it would have all came out great. But we did the buns, and these are the dolce leche um, cakes here it's a cake mix by pampered chef all right you can order this and they are so delicious I'll tell you and i'm gonna freeze some of these so i can have them for later so let me put this back on the counter got dessert done and dinner done and hopefully you enjoy the channel please subscribe like and if you saw stuff on here that you want please reach out to me i sell all this stuff uh, with pampered chef all right so thanks for coming in and i'll talk to you all next time all right let me see if I have missed any comments on here, JFJ. I can't see. I can't read the comments. How many people do you cook for? Just my, just myself and my mom. Just two of us. Here, Tony uh, Bay sent a rose. Thank you so much, Tony. Looks good. Show us the cast iron. We did the cast iron. There we go. Uh, woo, wow, wait a minute. How many? Uh, so, there you go. Thank you. you. Could you use juice just like you would for broth? Yes, you could and based, yeah, and you can freeze it actually too. We can freeze that juice right there and use it on a different chicken. Uh, wow, you're a pampered chef up. Yeah, there you go, I am pampered chef up. <laughs> I've been with pampered chef for six years now and my hair is a total mess, y'all. 
Oh well, life goes on, right? But it's all about eating and cooking and cooking uh, something simple that you can make at your house. And if I can make this at my house on, on a live screen, you can do this at your house when nobody's watching, all right? The chicken is soft and tender. The rice is fluffy and uh, a little bit of the gravy over it. I didn't want to se I season the rice because I knew I was going to put the Tuscan uh, seasoning over on top of it. And then we have broccoli on here. All right. So thanks for coming in and uh, make sure you like and follow and uh, for more tips and go back and watch some other uh, broadcasts I did earlier um, here on TikTok. And I'll be downloading this live and uploading it to YouTube. So if you want to see it on a recap, go over to, to go to my YouTube channel. You'll see it in a, probably about an hour or so. OK, thanks for coming in. Talk to you all next time. Bye. I always have to figure out how to end the broadcast. Hold on.